Hi, Flosstube. Hi, Flosstube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just Keep Stitching, episode 348. Eight. Four plus four <coughs> plus twenty plus twenty plus one fifty plus fifty plus fifty plus fifty is three forty eight. Cause math. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, people. How was your week? Hope it was good. God bless America. Of course, here in the states, well, states and Canada. Uh, oh yeah, was it? Canada it's been not... somewhat celebratory. Yes, somewhat. Oh, someone. Yeah. Um, maybe not for everybody, but uh, and not a big deal for us, really. No, not really. Uh, because weather. Yeah. Um, but and other things. Yeah. But we're glad you uh, stopped by again. Yes. And um, we have mm -hmm. a few things to show you. This we will do. be compared to last week. This will yeah. be be a quickie. It, <laughs> it'll be shorter. Shorter. Yes. Uh, with all the usual... Um, antics. Antics. Yes. As it were. Yes. Uh, so, um, let's get right to it, all shall right. we? Let's... No such harmony, right? What? No such harmony, right? No, no okay. such harmony. Um, all right. And um, we will do those as they come up in future. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, and then... a few little glitches in last week's, and we hope to... Solve that. Okay. In all in good time. No idea what you're talking about, but okay. That's <laughs> great. So, I don't know. People tried to respond to the woman and it didn't work. It didn't work, and I'm trying to run interference, and it's, ah. you know, maybe it's like hashtags on Instagram. It just doesn't work anymore. I don't know. And, uh, and I think sometimes, like when, when you comment on YouTube and you put your email address in a comment, YouTube flags it. Okay, well, I didn't do any of that. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, and well, you, I don't think I've heard of it. I so. don't think the person in North Carolina that wanted to connect with um, was Chrissy doing was doing that either. Okay. So, That's we'll, all right. well, hopefully, we'll solve it. Yeah, I have no doubt. Hopefully, we'll solve. Pam's it. a really great problem solver. So, yeah. I'm just trying yeah, to give you a compliment. Can you help me with this problem? <laughs> I'm just trying. I to have a problem here, Stephanie. You good? <laughs> Just check it. Let's uh, let's do Pam's pen <laughs> comment. Oh, let's do Pam's pen yeah, comment. Moving shall on we? from that. Moving on. Chaos. Um, this week's Pam's pen comment, which is my favorite comment, which I do pin at the top of all the comments. Yep. On the prior video, comes to us from a lovely gal named Laura Noel. Oh, Laura Noel. Hello, Laura Noel. Hello. And this just, you know, you know those. Cockles oh. of your heart oh, that goodness. get warmed. We've been there before. We don't need to readdress. Nope, we don't. Mm -mm. But this is what she said. I surrender. Oh. I am waving. Well, not waving, but waving. raising my white flag. I think she's raising, then waving. Yeah. <laughs> you two enabled me in so many ways. You can't really wave and then raise. No, that has no effect at all. No, not really. Whether it is a pattern, a fabric, or reminder that there are so many good people in this world. Yes. I had lost my hope for this world, but you both rejuvenated Love my belief if cross stitchers were in charge, the world would be full of happy, laughing, sharing, caring, and communicating people. Amen. Thank you for your love and kindness. Well, That's Laura. That's a great comment to pin. That mm -hmm. was just worded so nicely. It was. I think we all felt that way after uh, StitchCon. The two StitchCon weekends. For sure. Undoubtedly. So, congratulations, all right. Laura. Right. Uh, I covered up the notes. You did. Mm -hmm. Never cover up the notes. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, get my first little next, sound effect here. Okay. Next, we're going to talk about silver and gold. Yes, we are. Ready? Yep. And like I said, that's our signal for silver and gold, which is. is our floss tuber, shouter, router, and um, <laughs> and it's based on the old Girl Scout song, and so we have a new. Ooh. Floss tuber and one who's been around a little bit longer. Love it. 
Who's the silver, Pammy? The silver is our friend Aaron at the Hiking Stitcher. Love it. Aaron is uh, in Virginia, and uh, she came to StitchCon. Yep. Um, let's see. She was at the same weekend as Jesse Marie. Which was A. Which was A. Mm -hmm. And um, it turns out. Because they're both in Virginia, if right. you didn't know. Jesse Murray's in Virginia yeah, as well. Yeah. But I think the connection was Aaron lives in the town where Jesse Marie went to high school. Oh, that's crazy. So, of course, they were like, you know, long lost buddies. Sure, sure, sure. And um, I love that for them. she got inspired yeah. at StitchCon mm -hmm. to start a channel. We and love that. so uh, she is a big walker, hiker. All the outdoor things. Thus, the hiking stitcher. Thus, the hiking stitcher. She has that made two videos Woo. since StitchCon. That's impressive. The first one, so have we. <laughs> yeah. The first one was a StitchCon recap, <laughs> of it. which she is one of many, many, many. So good. Flustubers who have recapped StitchCon. Mm -hmm. And then she did a regular one. Yes. So, um, uh, she is, uh, because I think... She was sitting, sitting, sitting at Justin Murray's table, and they all got all excited about the beach rat that was oh, yes, in from the Arf offerings. Yeah, no, uh, not no, our offerings. No. Artsy housewife. Artsy housewife. Yeah, uh, that was um, in the uh, trunk show from the Artful Housewife. Um, and artsy. I said that didn't nope, I? Nope, you said Artful Housewife. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I'm combining. Yeah, Artsy Housewife. housewife. Um, and a bunch of stitchers yeah. are doing this, uh, beach rat sale. Cute. Um, and she's also into frog warts. She's doing a year at frog warts. I love that. Um, she's just a delight. And yeah. welcome Aaron to Floss Tube. Oh, and, that's exciting. Uh, go give Aaron some love and build up her subscriber count. Yes. Get her out there. Get her out there. Show her some love. Um, our goal floss tuber has been doing floss tubes uh, about a year and a half. She started yep. in February of 23. Mm -hmm. And her name is Lori. And her channel is, and this had to grab us, right? Obviously. Cross Stitch Cats and Chaos. That's sort of nice. Her name is Lori. She lives in Michigan. Now, she's only been making floss tubes for a year. Right. What the hell? Have you been waiting for, Lori? Oh, damn. She is in Michigan, and she has been Pam in... Pam is mad you made her wait this long. Well, because, listen to this, you guys. She has High been a content. model stitcher oh. for 20 years. And you just now decided to share it with us? What's no, happening? I don't know. I don't know. I Maybe she's too busy stitching models. I was going to say, she's got a lot on her plate, you know? But give her a break. Since, um, since February in 23, so she, she's made 37 videos. No, I'm not. She's not. I'm not mad. She has stitched models from everybody from Hello. Hello. Pat Carson. Oh, wow. All the way up to current <laughs> designers like Silver Creek. Oh, that's very cool. And um, I love that so uh, she is not a slouch by any stretch. Obviously. Um, and I have enjoyed uh, catching up with her on a few videos. Yeah. And um, you haven't watched she's all 37 real, of you. No. She, I've watched two or three. Got she it. is um, retired law enforcement. Love it. Large family. Love it. Uh, and. Uh, She's very laid back, very funny lady, very awesome. funny lady. Yes. But uh, like we've often said about people that have been in the service, mm -hmm. um, she just lets it fly. Yeah, we so love it. So let that be, you know, a little heads up for anybody who's maybe sensitive to language. It didn't bother me at all. No. So anyway, go check out Lori. Yeah. And um, enjoy her. Um, very much. Yes. So there's Aaron and Lori for you to go find yes. and check out. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. You say what you say, Pam? Stephanie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what have you been stitching on in the last week? Okay. So I've been on vacation all week. Yeah. Um, also, just like a side note, I was going to say this at the end, but I'm just going to say it now. Uh, I, when I go on vacation, I go on vacation. 
Okay. So, like, if you've sent me, like, an Instagram message. Physically, and I mentally, or, psychologically. Spiritually. All of the things. Just, I am. Checked out. Gone. Okay. So, I am like, I need to sleep. I need to eat. I need to watch TV. I need to stick. That's pretty much the basic yeah. needs met. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, if you've tried to communicate with me in some way, shape, or form, and you have not heard back from me, I promise, starting tomorrow. When I get back on She'll my back, back on my tomorrow. business, <laughs> when I get back on my business, you know, when I clock back in to my real life, <gasps> I promise I will get back to you. I'm just, I'm terrible at Instagram messages anyway. But, um, so I don't want anyone to think that I was ignoring them or upset with them. I'm just on, what is it? Man, what is, mañana? No, that's tomorrow. What do they say when you're on vacation? I don't know. On vacation. I'm on, I'm on vacation. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking. So anyway. Uh, anyway. Okay, so that's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to have to look that up when you're showing your whips. Okay, okay. so you I had... You shout it out whenever. Obviously. I don't need your permission. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so um, I had all these, like, intentions of, like, oh, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to switch on this, and I'm going to switch on that, and then um, I just didn't do that. So um, I've just been really, 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 really enjoying working on this mill hill, and I started this uh, the Saturday night uh, before Pam's birthday when we were down at the Great American Ballpark watching the Red Sox play. And so this is uh, Mill Hill, what's it called? Home Run. And it's one of the larger ones, obviously. Um, and not a ton of beads. Like, there's, that's, oops, that's all there is for beads. So that's exciting. And then obviously the big baseball one, which is going to be really cool. So, um, this is what I have. It's really coming to life. Oh, it's so fun. So, um, oh, I can kind of, you can kind of tell. So this is like home plate. Okay. So his feet are going to go here and here. And then there's like the green of the field is around here. Obviously, the glove is done. The bats are done. Um, so, up here, it says all stars. But you can see that there's two different colors of thread up there, right? So, it's very shaded, believe it or not. So, it's like blue up here. And it turns into white and red stripes. So, the white stripe part is done. And then I have the red to put in, obviously. But there's two different colors there. So, it's like super shaded more than I ever would have thought. So, it kind of looks like he's waving a flag right now, but he's not. So, um, and then down here, the words home run will go. And then the word baseball goes down here. And then the word play ball go here. And I think... Yeah, and then the word strike will go here. So, uh, but all the words are like bead, stitch, bead, stitch, bead, stitch. So, I'm sort of like leaving most of them till the end. So, there you go. I really love it. And um, I think probably like tomorrow, I say that, but um, I would like to get to my whip go pieces or at least one of them in the month of July. But you know what? We'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that goes. But I'm really obviously having a lot of fun with this. Oh, yeah. So, and then one thing that I did uh, this week, um, I guess not one thing, it was multiple things, but um, I did a lot of, like, organizing and um, tidying up my cross-stitch stuff. Um, I like to, uh, in... The last week of December, excuse me, before January 1st, and like when we're making our whip go boards for the next year, yeah, I like to go through my whips, put them all back in the bin because they get put in bags here and bags there and piles here and piles there just from the year's crazy. Well, and we go on retreats. Right, I mean, exactly. And, and so you, you pull it, bring home here, your goodies there. from retreat and you <laughs> tend to not deal with them right away. Right. So, um... So then I like, ideally like to do that in July too, mm. just kind of a mid-year reset. And so Pam started it because 
as you can tell, we have a lot of natural light in this room. Mm -hmm. So where Pam's chair is, where she stitches, at about maybe four in the afternoon, roughly, the sun is shining directly on her stitching spot. And so Pam said to me, well, I can't really see the stitch right now, so I should do something that's not stitching. And, well, well and, didn't and it then start you, with... Then you, then you blah, said... Blah, blah. Then he said, I think I'm going to get my projects together for Stitch the Summer Olympics. And I was like, okay. And when you have a less than a year old kitten in the house, yeah. if you're going to pull bins and boxes out, you might as well do it together. As, as you know, as in one fell swoop. Correct. As opposed to, I do it one day, she does it the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just, just get it done. Get it done, all the things. So that sort of like started the ball rolling with all of my organizational yeah. situations. Um, and so we got all of our projects picked out for Stitches Summer Olympics. I'm very excited about that. I got all of my whips put back together. Um, and they're all in a bin and they're all in We made final decisions about some things. Yes. And then um, I also like... Number one pet peeve, which is so ridiculous, but it drives me crazy, <laughs> is when there's a series and all the parts are not together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it drives me insane. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's stupid that it does that, but it does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I was like pulling parts together, all the things. So and that one mystery you never did solve. Nope. Nope. I haven't solved but that one yet, but I we'll feel confident it. we'll solve it. We'll but, solve it. But. Anyway, so like the last three days, basically, yeah, the 5th, 6th, and 7th, I've spent just like organizing everything yeah. and like, sure, was that time that I could have spent stitching? Absolutely. But th I saw a lot of things I, like, not that I forgot that I had, but just like, oh, I can't wait to stitch that. Oh, I can't wait to mm -hmm. stitch that. Mm -hmm. And so it sort of like re-energized my love for my stash and also is a good reminder of how much stash I have. Mm -hmm. um, and... So I have, now I have all my whips together. I have all of my partially kitted things are all together living copacetically. And then I have all of my fully kitted things all together yeah. and all my series are together and it's just such a lovely time. Mm -hmm. So I feel like fun there's really no other time throughout yeah. the year that I would have been able to do that. Right. Um, because I wasn't working this week. So yep. it was really, really great. So that's what I've been up to this week in regards to cross stitch. That's right. So that's what I've been doing, Pam. What about you? What have you been doing with your life? <laughs> okay. Yep. I just want to say that um, most of the time when I was busy organizing, other than Stitch the Summer Olympics, Pam was watching me organize while she was stitching. It was totally fine. It was totally fine. Okay. All right, Pam, what are we so, doing now? So um, I've been working on the monthly... Uh, snapshots from Pine Mountain and you know I kind of worked ahead because of yes. June and July got those done mm -hmm. because of our busy June so it was time to dig out and kit um, or pull the threads uh, I have plenty of fabric that is appropriate for August and this is what August looks like isn't that cute Freaking adorable. Of course, being in the Midwest and coming from the Northeast, I'm not a palm tree fan, but um, that is what it's called for. This is crooked in the Q-snap, and I just worked on it a little while ago, so bear with me on that. But I am on my way with the August snapshot. With I love the palm tree. said palm tree. So... Having fun with that. This is on um, coloring cotton. Oh, uh, <gasps> coloring. Oh shoot. Um, it'll be when I post. It'll be in my Instagram. Just you haven't posted about it yet, because I'll look it up if you have. No, I haven't posted okay. about it, and I I can't think. I didn't bring That's my okay. thread bag out. That's all right. So that is the August snapshot from Pine Mountain. You know what? Can I see this chart for a second? Mm -hmm. You know what I think is my favorite part? Is all of the ice cream. I know. It's, I love these the, are just so adorable. They're so freaking fracking cute. They are super freaking fracking. <laughs> <laughs> There's this guy on TikTok, and instead of saying the actual F word, he says frack. Oh. And it's he's Southern, so it comes out bright. <laughs> And so he's like, my my brain's double fracked. It's so funny. <laughs> oh yeah, I know the one. You yeah, 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 yeah. 
Landon um, is his name, I think. My other... Um, wow, Pam, you're almost done, baby. I'm almost done. I, I thought I would, you know, try to just stitch until I have no more fingers left and get this I mean, done. why not <laughs> stitch until I have no fingers left? But I decided... Um, otherwise? Otherwise. Okay. It'll be a finish for next week, for sure. Okay. This is, and this is a black and white because the original is um, in safekeeping. This is a loaned chart yes. to me, mm -hmm. and um, it is from Birds of a Feather, and it's called Poor Jack. Poor Jack. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to pull up a color? No. No. You, you don't really no, need one. Because, Cause, as Pam's Tiffany basically said, done. I'm almost done. <laughs> yes. This is on um, 32 count Birds of a Feather fabric called Sparrow. Sparrow. Which is like, is there a dyer out there who can duplicate birds of a feather sparrow fabric? If you can, Do you're going to make a mint. Yeah, you are. Because look at this. Oh, Pammy. So, like I said, I'm almost done. Yeah, that's all she has left I down there. I just have, what, one, two, three, four more yeah. squares at the bottom. This is amazing. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. I mean, birds of a feather. Look at that head. Um, they're all out of print now. The cross stitch. Design. Well, not all of them. Hoffman does still have some. Oh, okay. Yeah, a few. Right. Um, and but not a lot of them. You know, they just they're, they're just so good. They're just so but like good. look at this like honey amber situation. Yeah. yeah. And I will say, in my opinion, correct me if I'm wrong, because I've stitched on birds of a feather fabric too. It's not just the color. Oh, no. It's yeah. like the feel of the fabric. Yeah. It's like their dyeing process in and it's of itself. Not, it's not thick, overly thin. But it's, it's not, not overly... Yeah. It's so lovely. It's, it's just, just a dream. It's just a dream to yeah, stitch on. It is. For I sure. don't know what other colors they dyed. There um, was like Barn Owl. Oh, yeah. And, Barn Owl. Um, I don't know. And I don't know if any that we have. Um, well, we definitely have some Sparrow. Yeah, we have a, a a good good a good amount of sparrow. We sure do. Yes. So we feel, feel fortunate about that. Oh, yes, we sure do. Okay, and then um, this cute bag. The um, uh oh, uh oh, Pam forgot the chart. Yeah, no, I forgot the picture, and That's, it's which oh, is on the chart. <laughs> no, I have the rest of the chart. I just don't have the front piece that shows the picture. Okay, hold please. Okay, the fabric that I'm using for the um, August snapshot is Travertine from yes. Color and Cotton. It may have been a Fabric Club color. Oh, I think it was, to be honest. So, you know, in that case, I don't know if you can get it. Okay, so my first whip go for July yes. is from Kathy Barrick. Oh, baby. And it is the Ocean Blue Stocking. Mm. Come hither. You can't even see these swans in this picture. Right. Look at that boat. It's, they're hard to photograph. Oh, I can imagine, yeah. Um, so freaking cute. Yeah. Oh. Now, that model is stitched on 40 count. Yes. And I'm doing mine on 36, one strand. Yes. Um, and thoroughly enjoying this. I work on it every day. It's so fun. In the first fun. two weeks of the month. I th I did not realize it was 36. I thought it was 40. Mm -hmm. 36. But and drizzle. I'm doing it on drizzle from Coloring Cotton. So I started at the very tippy top. Look at and that. And there are the swans that she mentioned. And I'm working my way down. So oh. that's where I quit last night. I'll work some more on it tonight. It's this tends so to pretty. be our... Uh, tends to be my... <laughs> Uh, after dinner Good project, yeah. project. Yeah. like when we're sitting down for a night baseball game or yeah. a mini series that we're watching. Right. Um, it's just lovely. Yes, love, I agree completely. Love Pam. Kathy Barrick. So we'll just stick that back in there. Sure thing, and I'll stick this in there too. Yeah. All right, next. And the next one is there is a sal going on. From Shocker. Um, a couple of floss tubers that we'll put in the description box. Yeah. Um, I can't think of their names. One channel has two young ladies and another channel has one young lady. Let me find it. Uh, bring out your kits, Sal. 
And I thought that would be fun since I have a lot of kits. Oh, go to the um, salamander. Yeah, go to salam salamander. 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 <laughs> That's just what we say. Okay, so it's the hashtag bring out your kits, Sal. Right. And um, it is hosted by Jen's Fiberweb and, Fiber and Thread Gremlins. And Thread Gremlins, right. And so we went back to my stash, Steph and I, and looked at different candidates and came up with this one. This is pretty old, probably from the 80s. Under the um, brand of Design Works, copyright by Krista Hamrick, and it's called Ocean ABC. Hmm. And um, our friend Katie yep. did a similar design having to do with what? kitchen. Kitchen or pasta or I think it was just kitchen, I think. I can't remember. Or Italian or food. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. But it was, it's incredible. Yeah. Every time I go to her house, I look at it. So I opened this up. <laughs> and I mean, I could have, um, what do I say about the Ada that was in this? I it would have stood up on its own. It, it Literally, you unfold it and stand it up on the table. It, yep. I said, I cannot. I, I just cannot, cannot do it. And uh, so I pulled a piece of. Um, well, you found a few, and then I did the math. Yeah. And so I'm doing it on an even weave. Yeah. And it's pale, 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 pale. Blue. Blue yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, the kit floss, I want to tell you what. So good. Who knows who made this stuff? Incredible. And, and the list on the chart. Um, Garbage. You couldn't even. It, it told you. And this is what we get when we go into those vintage kits. Yep. That's um, very true. The colors were described in words. In English words. Like light blue. Yeah. Yeah. Dark green. Whatever. Whatever. And then there was a corresponding DMC color. Uh-huh. That's, I mean, number. That's yeah. not to say this is DMC floss. Right, sure. And I needed that DMC number to figure out what was what. And I finally had, I put everything in floss away bags. That was the only way quick that I could get going on it. And then I came up with too many, too many different colors, not enough floss. It was just a... Yeah, it was a little bit of a nightmare. It was... <laughs> So that's when I go, Stephanie, mm -mm. can you help me with oh, That's my favorite version of Pam is Frustrated Pam. <gasps> so anyway, uh, she did. She helped me. And um, no, I said you're on your own. And because this is going to be tight border wise, mm -hmm. Steph's advice, which was good advice, was to start in the middle. So if you look at the design, the middle is this. Oh. Make uh, mermaid, mermaid right here in the middle. Yes. Okay, and she's got yeah. her arms outstretched, holding a pearl, holding a pearl, and an oyster. So I made a copy of that section of the chart. Sure. And then I counted over to get to a place because I was kind of anxious about this border color whether it would show up. Of course, oh. vintage kit, it's going to be backstitched Alta, you know yeah, what. Yeah, that's what I was like, what are and you worried about? So I'm going to be fine. Of course you're going to be fine. But this is where this is where I am. And that border is going to show up, especially after I backstitch yeah, it. Yeah, because And those are the mermaid's little arms coming out. Yep. So, um. Cute. So it's bring out your bring out your kit, kit cell. cell. Yep. Sponsored or hosted by those two channels. Yep. 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 And I'll tag that all below. Yep. 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 They're both really good channels, by the way. Absolutely. Okay. Next, July first was Canada Day. Canada Day. Oh, Canada. Canada. Okay. Burr, so burr, if you burr, 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 if burr. if you've been with me a while, you know that... Pam loves Canada. On my mom's side of the family, it's all Canada, man. That's great fabric. It is great fabric. Did you did pick I it pick up? I it up. Probably. I think I did. Probably. 
So, short little story. In oh, 2016, boy. I and my sister, Laura, and I went to Canada in 2016 mm -hmm. for a Steve's family reunion. Okay. We have Steve's in our line. In fact, the family crest of the Steve's family, if you are in New Brunswick, um, you've probably seen it. You've probably seen something to do with Steve's up in Hillsboro. So we went up for this um, event, if mm. you will, in Hillsboro, and Shindig. We went to because you count in Moncton, uh -huh. which has sadly either changed hands or closed or moved or something something. It ain't something. what it used to be. It ain't what it used to be. But we went in there, and um, my sister does not stitch. No. But I said, let's, uh, I think one day we were having lunch. And I said, here's a, a needle workshop. Let's go. So we went after lunch one day in conjunction with being up there for this big event. Sure. The event ended up being not as grand as I think they had hoped, mm -hmm. but we still had fun. Yeah, of course. Um, and... Um, I made out pretty well in that shop. In fact, there was a lady that gave me a free chart to the Steve's Crest, which is kind of an interesting cool. um, family crest. You should probably show them the charts first. Huh? You should probably show them the charts first. Well, I, only to say that after that trip, mm -hmm. Jeanette Douglas came out with a collection of small charts uh, that she called Canadian Patriotic Snippets. Mm -hmm. And there are 12 of them. I think the last one probably has all of them pictured. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you can stitch these individually, or you can make them into a sampler with a border. Mm. It's, uh, no, there's no master border, but there's a border around each one. It's so cool. So because I had met some of the ladies at the Oh, and there's a count, bonus one in here. Yeah, I have that one too. That's cute. Oh, do I have that one? Or? It, yeah, it's inside of this. Oh, pack. okay. Plus there's this one too that's an add-on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. So because I had sort of made myself known to the ladies at Because You Count, yeah, sure. I asked them to put me on auto ship. For all 12 of them. Oh, this is cute. So this is from Old Colonial Designs. And Jeanette Douglas is this like little bonus. Yeah. So okay. um, Sorry. when we were scheduling my 24 starts in 2024. Yeah. And we got to Canada Day. Yes. I had several that could possibly be starts for Canada Day. Of course. And Stephanie said, no, I think you should do these snippets I from love Jeanette. this. You've had these for forever. <laughs> I have had them for forever. So... You kitted this up for me. I did. And this is the first, this gives you an idea. And I will say that the thread that you're using for this border. Yeah, oh, thread works. Sorry. Yeah, so that's what I, I That was included. I didn't pick it out myself. What do you mean? I already had it? It was in the first chart, yes. I wonder where I got it. it you probably got it because you can't pin. Do you think? I don't know. I don't know where else so you got it. So a long time ago, 2016. Well, anyway, up in the upper left-hand corner, yeah. I have started the first snippet. Yeah, because Pam's And I'm going to do way. them on one big piece. Yep. And the color that she's talking about is like peppermint or well, something. Well, it's stitched right here. Show it doesn't matter. Well, I know, but... So, isn't that pretty? Look mm -hmm. at how that just plays out like peppermint. So cool. So, that's how big they're going to be. Yeah. So, not big at all, because that's 32 really? count, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 32 count... Uh, harvest wheat yeah. linen from Color and Cotton. Yeah, which was the fabric of the month. Oh, it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, it's just going mean, to be. It's perfect for that. It's just going to be gorgeous. So yep. That is the, so great. Um, twenty four starts in twenty twenty four is the hashtag. Um, I mean, they're cute in a bowl like that. Don't get me wrong. Right. But that's just grand. Yeah. I think. In and my then the. This one was yeah. I told I said a old, collab between Old, old Colonial, Colonial yep. and Jeanette, which is called Friendship Snow Borders. Yeah, which I also got, I think, as part of no, I got it at Keepsake, so it didn't come from Moncton, but yep. 
Anyway, but so... But you were on... I mean, when I first started stitching, you were on the auto ship for this still. Was I? Oh, yeah. Took a while then, didn't it? It well, probably was one of I the last... I started stitching in 2017. Yeah. 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 So I was still, Yeah. So... <laughs> yeah. So I was still getting them in tw because we went to Canada in 2016. 16, 17. Yeah, because 17 comes after 16. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Okay. Next. And then um, it was finally time, people. It was finally time. Um, in all of our, before I show this, in uh -huh. all of our organizing, that mostly Stephanie's organizing, mm -hmm. um, and putting sort of more affiliated bags mm -hmm to projects. Yeah, making the projects count. Like um, match bags. We came across this bag that somebody made me in 2019. And what is the initials on it? J-A-M 2019. And I would like to be reminded, thank yeah. you very much, yeah. who made me this bag because look at this. Look at this bag. J-A-M. So it was given to you at Sitchcom in 2019, I believe. Okay. Okay. It's stunning. That was the first year we were at the convention center. Yep. I mean, what's that? How and that's it? the only identification it's so I have. So There's no note or nothing in the bag? No. And if you are J-A-M. Please forgive us. May, I would love to be reminded who made me this yes. lovely bag because it is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. So, what am I talking about? Yeah. I am so talking get about. Get all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I am talking about Queen of Freedom from Mirabilia. Oh, baby. And um, I started this on the 4th of July. Makes sense. It is stitched on. Mm, so pretty. What am I stitching this on, Stephanie? 32 count. Oh, fiber on a whim. It's in my Instagram. Well, okay, then just keep going and I'll look it up. Yep. And I'm using DMC. And all the beads and Crynix. And I started at the top center. Fiber on a whim, silver fox. Silver fox. Yep. So it is a bluish gray or grayish blue, however you want to talk about it. I think it. blue is more dominant than gray. Do you? Okay. In my personal opinion. And I started at the very tippy top of her head. Tippy top. And I. Um, I mean, it's going to be great. It's going to be stunning. Yeah, isn't can't it? wait. So you want to hold it up? Sure. So um, that is Queen of Freedom started on the 4th of July, 2024. Yep. And as you can tell, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be I amazing. Mean, this, it's kind of washing up the fabric. You know, it, it I played around with, you know, stitching it on the printed fabric. Oh, yeah. With the Constitution or the We the People or whatever the heck. Yeah, no. And I mm -hmm. just thought, it's just too busy. Yeah. I want her to just stand yeah. on her own. Yes. Sit on her own, really. Yeah. The other one stands, but this one sits. And what's the other one called? Um, Lady of the Flag. Lady of the Flag. Do yeah. you have that? Yep. So, anyway, that was Casual. a new start. Um... On the 4th of July. On the 4th of July. Well, what did that... we do on the 4th of July? We... Okay, so on the 3rd of July was much more exciting. Oh, yeah. So Locally, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have the city of Mason, where we live, and then yeah. we have a amusement park, a pretty large amusement park that we can see from our driveway. I can see from my house. So, yeah. So, however, every night at 10 o'clock, Kings Island, which is the amusement park, does fireworks. Does all every summer night, long, ten o'clock. Yes, on the dock. Never fails. Okay, I, I, start, like, I start that? here in the fireworks at ten o'clock. And you should have missed that. And I fireworks always Pam. forget. It's ten o'clock. It's ten o'clock. It's Kings Island fireworks. <laughs> so, because they always do fireworks, they work with the city of Mason. Yeah. So to, they don't conflict. Sure. So. Kings Island does an elaborate, longer fireworks show on the 4th of July. Oh, yeah, yeah. with drone um, drone show drone and all show, the, the whole thing. Nine it's kind of wild. Yeah. Um, we went to see it last year. Right. And so that means that on the 3rd of July, the city of Mason mm -hmm. does a big old thing. Yeah. It's called Red Rhythm and Boom. 
it's great. So we don't go over and like participate in like the, it's really family friendly to be fair. So we don't have a little rug wrap, so we're not going to go over there. But uh, one of our favorite food trucks was over there. And yeah. so I went over and got dinner that day and got soaked 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 it was it started pouring it was all fine it was wild but um worth it oh 100 percent worth it and then um then the city of mason does fireworks thus the red rhythm and boo mm -hmm. so um we all we have to do is like literally walk out of our garage yeah and Woke up in the sky and it's like we're sitting right in front of the fireworks. It's pretty yeah. legit. Yeah. So, um, so we got it was like easily a half hour long show, which was yes. kind of wild, yes. like pretty intense. So that and then on the fourth of July we just we watched the ball game yeah. and we stitched and yeah. yeah had hot dogs for dinner and that was, was pretty fine. much it. it so fine. yeah, it was great. Yeah. So anyway, so anyway <clears throat> those. Are our whips of the week. Excellente. Okay. Alrighty. Promotions. Promotions. Welcome to the Triple P, the promotional portion of the program. And this week we have for you the uh, Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week. Yep. Uh, and so what that is, is every week we speak to the twins uh, at Twin Peak Primitives and we collectively decide on a pattern that everyone loves, that we think that you would love as well. And then it is 20% off for the next week. We announce it on Sunday. It's 20% off to the next Sunday. Correct. So, uh, we thought, given um, the holidays that we've just celebrated, right. uh, that we should do a patriotic piece this mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. And so, what is the name of this week's Pattern of the Week, Pam? This uh, pattern is a big one, folks. Yeah. If you like big projects, this is for you. It's called yeah. One Nation Under God. And uh, it's not brand new. It's no. been out for a few years. But it's easily one of my favorite patriotic ones I've ever done. Yeah, it really is a stunner. Yeah, for sure. And it's going to be 20% off. So that's a pretty good savings for mm -hmm. a large chart like this. Yes, absolutely. So let's um, enter the picture for them. Let's do that here. here. Yay. What did I tell you? Yeah. It's amazing. Stunning. So, uh, if you love One Nation Under God as much as we love One Nation Under God, uh, and you would like to get your hands on a copy that is 20% off, uh, now is the time to do so. And you can get your copy, either PDF from Twin Peak Primitives website or Etsy shop, both of which are linked below, or from uh, a hard copy from the TPP Limited Editions Etsy shop. Right. Also, which also linked below. Right. Okay. 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 All right. Guess what? We didn't have any mail call this no week. No mail call this week, people. Amazing. Shocking. So let's right. talk about um Our whole. Do, you want to, do you want to talk about this first? Uh let's insert this before okay. we talk about home. Sure. So um I we're gonna assume that most of you know about Car Carolyn Manning designs. And I think last week you showed the one that you're working oh, on yeah. called Behind the Looking not Behind the Behind the Curtain. Behind the Curtain. Look behind the Curtain. Yeah. And I've got a couple in the works as well. She's just amazing. <coughs> well, she had a um, she had a friend. Carolyn had a friend, Susan, who passed away from cancer recently. Mm. And so um, <coughs> we're sad to hear about that. But what she's done is she's designed a uh, piece that she is simply calling Susan, and. Um, the pattern is a fundraiser for the American Cancer Society and for Susan's family. Oh, and wow. um, how did you hear about it? I heard about it from Barb at uh, Stitch Brat Stew yep. on mm -hmm. YouTube and also Stitch Brat on Instagram. Yep. Met Barb for the first time at StitchCon this year. She is a delight. Yes. And um, uh. Barb is stitching it in memory of her mom who mm -hmm. died of cancer, and um, she is hosting a sale of it. 
So this isn't the greatest picture. Um, this is a uh, off our printer. It starts on the 12th. The 12th of July. Which is, what's today? The 7th? Yeah, so that would be Friday. This Friday? This upcoming Friday, I think, yeah. if my math is right. Yeah. Yeah. So you can go follow Stitch Brat on Instagram. There's also a hashtag that's CM Remembrance yep. Cell. For Carolyn Manning Remembrance, but CM Remembrance Cell. This is a rough idea of the beautiful design. And uh, so another cell for you to join, and it goes to a good cause, really good cause. Yeah. So... Um, I so it's to... available as a PDF off Carolyn's website, and it uses all DMC. Yeah. So, there you go. There you go. So, uh, if you're at life like mine, and Stephanie's has been touched by cancer, mm -hmm. um, this might uh, be something that you want to participate in. Yeah, we, we just wanted to make everyone aware. We uh, hope you do. There you go. Okay. Um, so, I wanted to stick that in. There was no real good place to sure. insert it, but sure. we are going to talk about Hall now. next. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, I just have one little thing to show you, um, and it's more or less Hall for both of us as opposed to just one of us, but um, we got in the mail this week uh, from Craftways slash Hirschners uh, up in Wisconsin, mm -hmm. um, the 2024... Christmas book uh, across Stitch Christmas and this year it is called A Festive Spirit. So we've we had this happens with the calendars and the books every year. So before I show you some of our favorites in the book I just want to tell you we received this book early because we get it every year. We get it every year. So I think what they do up at Hirschner's is they the people that have gotten it in years past, they just send them back out, right? Mm -hmm. So, plus, I think we're also on their PR list. So, there's that, too. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know if it's on their website yet. I don't think it is. If you... I, calling them might be the better option if that if you want to get your yeah. hands on the book. But right. if you reach a dead end immediately, just keep checking back. I mean, it's July. So, it's yeah. early, right? Yeah. Um, but... Just a fair warning. But this book is great. So It they always has this head title. Yes. And the distinction is the subtitle. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we have a collection of these. And of course we do. We love we them do. all. Of course we do. So there's a few of them that we wanted to show you. And we didn't have the little baby post-its with us when... We were thumbing through this, but we like both of these on this, this page. Mm -hmm. So Emma Congdon, look at how freaking pretty that is. Isn't that neat? Oh, I love it. Yeah. And I think this is super, super unique. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, adapted to cross stitch by Barbara Anna, which is incredible. Um, and then oh my. this one is so freaking cute. There's like, that. there's three pieces in here by Tiny Modernist. Yeah. This being one of them. Mm -hmm. How cute. Look at that little freaking mm -hmm. penguin on the mm -hmm. ice skates. I just die. Yeah. Um, okay. Sorry, bear with us. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So this is... From Emma Congdon. This is one of Pam's favorites. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. With all the ice skaters. Adorable. This is another one from Tiny Modernist. So cute. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's a it's a really good book this year. It's very, very good. Mm -hmm. I mean, highly, highly recommend. We never love everyone, every well, yeah, single one. But I think that's sort of the point. But, you, know? you know, find the ones that... There's one more that I wanted to show Oh, that? Nope. That's not it. Yeah. This one oh, yeah. from Emma Congdon. It says, it's not Christmas without cookies. Look at that. Look at how freaking cute that is. Mm -hmm. And so just as an aside. Um, oh, yeah. And there's one at the end. So let me tell you this while I'm looking for this other chart. So... The thing about these patterns in this book is that nine... Like... They are 
only going to be in this book. So they're not, it's not like they're in this book and then a year later they release a single chart. No, th this is the only place they're going to be. Correct. So if any of the ones that we've showed you, you're like, Chomping oh, that's cute. Yeah. Um, and then this one's from Becky Spencer. I'm going to try to, there's a chart on the opposite side, but. Isn't that different? Yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love the circus font. It's just very, very cute. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, here's just a little snapshot of some of the other things that are in there. Mm -hmm. It's a great book. We have the whole collection, so um, yeah. or most of them, I think. Yeah. Um, so, uh, reach out to Hirschners in some way, shape, or form, and you can get your hands yeah. on the 2024 Christmas book. Right. So, and it's a 30-day examine. Pay for and keep. Well, that's or... how they send it to us. I don't know if that's how they send it. If you order it on the oh, website. Oh, that's true. You yeah. know, if, if you... you if you order it on the website, then you're committing. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. That's all I have for all. Okay. Um, it's a new month, July. So we have new Patreon charts from Teresa Cogut. Yeah. And they are simply over the top. Oh, I love that one. Uh-huh. This is for tier two, three, and four. It's called Naughty or Nice. Mm -hmm. We've got these all downloaded. Look on at laptop. the pants on him. Look at the oh, pants. I know. I know. Cute. I, know. I might, I would maybe add some backstitch to that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, she makes them fairly generic so that your choice of fabric is going to determine oh, yeah. everything. Yeah, that's true. This is called Gathering Holly. Cute. Again, with the green dress. Yeah, the, so the green check at the bottom. Freaking cute. And this is oh, called... Oh, look at the little dog. He's running away with a holly leaf. Cute. And this is called Santa with Anne and Ted. I think that title is just so cute. Anne and Ted. Anne and Ted. And Love Santa. It. Love it. I think Teresa's stitching this one herself right now. Cute. She's been posting I love pictures it. of his face. Beautiful. And, uh, yeah. So those are the new Patreons. Once again, worth every penny. Um... Even before Athena and uh, uh, Katie Clark collabed on the upcoming Olympics event mm -hmm. um, in terms of shirts and everything, which, of course, we put our orders right in for that. Yeah. I had already ordered a shirt from Athena from Stitching Goddess Designs. Yes. Because I do start stitching early in the morning, and this yes. was right, right up my alley. This is says you can't stitch all day if you don't start in the morning mm. i love the color Preach. and it is amazing it is canvas bella uh yeah it's a great brand fabric of this mm -hmm. t-shirt oh athena you need to put all your shirts with this yes fabric. so isn't that pretty yeah that color is awesome yeah the color is awesome the brand of t-shirt is 12 out of 10. And, and did you see that the moon has like a little hoop? It's not the moon, Stephanie. I mean We're the talking... sun. The sun has like a little hoop. Yes, it's like a little hoop. It's cute. It kind of looks like our bell, but... Yeah, that's what I thought it was at first, to yeah. be honest with you. But I've, you know, we immediately ran in. We did a fashion show. And, yeah, it's um, super cute. Like you do when you buy new clothes. Obviously. And um, cute, cute, cute. Love it, love it, love it, Athena. Yes. Great, great. Can't wait to get our... Olympic shirts. Yeah. Um, a Friday night that we were at the ball game. Okay. Downtown Cincinnati right. when I had my birthday baseball weekend. Yeah. Um, Jess at Como Stitches came out with project bags with this amazing American history fabric. Mm-hmm. And I set my alarm, and I, yeah, we were getting ready for first pitch. And I said, "That's okay. I'll be sitting there. I can, I can grab a bag of Jess's <laughs> with this fabric." This was the Wrong. fabric, but but you didn't obviously. But then I said, "You know, I've got too much on my mind. There's too much going on around me. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. going to do it." Sure, sure. And then somebody else I was watching on Flosstube, and I wish I could remember who it was, had a brilliant idea. And they went and shopped online for the fabric. Mm -hmm. And I thought, bingo. Mm -hmm. So I found an Etsy seller who was selling the fabric. And I just 
said, I'll take two yards. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So it has come, and this is basically most of the repeats of it. So cool. I mean to tell you. Right up Got my everything alley. you need. Got everything, you know. Take and um, so I messaged um, Jess, and yeah. I said, you know, explain the situation about sure. missing the sale. And I said, but I've got some fabric. Can you still make me a bag? Mm -hmm. And of course, being just, she said, of yeah, course. Obviously. And so I'm going to send her the fabric mm -hmm. and um, she can make me a bag. I need to um, give her the uh, dimensions mm -hmm. and um, it'll Great. just be fabulous. Yep. So um, that came from the Etsy seller. Okay. Okay, and it's going to end up being a bag. And right. then I signed up for the collaborative box between Kathy from Hands On Design and Chantel 141. Yeah. And Oh, I thought you were going to show them it all together. Oh, well, isn't this ingenious? This is how they packaged them in a takeout plastic. It's so good. Clamshell uh, box. So smart. And so you might have seen, I think, on either account or maybe both, the stacks and stacks and stacks that they I've had. I've never seen anyone do that before. If you so pre-ordered, you got a little bit extra. So, yeah. of course, I pre-ordered. Obviously. So, um, this is what came. Uh-huh. Um, so, this is the main chart. This is the main chart. It's called Sorry, Period, Can't, Period. And it is... Uh, sorry, can't stitching by. So cute. Yeah. And it came with Chantel's wooden hoop. Yep. To finish it in. To finish it in. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'll have to have somebody paint it. Oh, yeah. And then the extra bonus pack for pre-ordering was something called bonus dot block dot and it's just a cute little ohio star yeah quilt design cute. with chantelle's little framing hoop mm -hmm. um the um fabric, you everything you need fabric for the big project came in here with some um threads and fabric and batting mm -hmm. and the DMC. And a sticker. And a sticker. Yep. And everything was very festive. Yeah, it was and fantastically done. just very, very nicely done. Yep. Per usual, if there's any two people in the industry yeah. that know what they're doing, it's Kathy Haberman and Chantel Damlin. Yeah, it's a good uh It's good a combo. good col collaboration with the two of them, man. It's guaranteed going to be good. Yep, absolutely. So, um, Do you have any idea if people can still order it? I think you can. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can. On Chantel's website? You just website. won't get that little extra design. Right, sure, sure, sure. Um, and huh, I would try, I don't know, whether to go to Kathy's website or Chantel's. Well, I'll put them both in the... Yeah. In yeah. the description box. So, where did um, you get yours off of Chantel's website? I can't remember. Perfect. Sorry. Nope. Cool. We'll have to keep them on their toes, you know? Yeah. Uh, so. Okay. All right. So, is that all of the haul then? That is all the haul. All righty. Uh, Add to cart. cart. <laughs> that was weird, but whatever. We're going to roll with it. It's fine. Okay. All right. So, we have uh, some items that we are giving away this week. And so what we do on this channel when we give things away is that I record myself live picking winners. And so I will insert the video of me pulling winners for last week's giveaways here. Hello, people. Hello and welcome to the giveaway portion of the program. I am here to give three different lovely situations away. Two, two single charts and then a uh, Americana bundle. So... This is the video from last week. Yay. And now we're going to pick winners. So there were, th pick winners, I should say. There were three different things. The first, uh, used, we asked you to use the word frosty in the comment. So that is the URL for the video. Keyword F-R-O-S-T-Y. Let's see how many 
people used the word frosty in their comment. 151. All right, let's pick a winner. Susan W. 5212. Happy birthday, Pam, from another June born. Seems you brought the Red Sox some good vibes during your birthday weekend. Hope you enjoyed some hot dogs and a frosty drink while singing to the flag. Happy birthday, America. Congratulations, Susan. You have won the Frosty's Tree Farm. Okay, we'll reset and pick another winner. All right, the next item is the Kringles Cocoa Bar. We asked you to use the word hot in your comment, H-O-T. Uh, so let's uh, see how many comments we got that used the word hot. A hundred and sixty three comments. All right, let's pick a winner. Whoa, MSW for change. Our flag has withstood the test of time, has been our symbol of freedom in America, a beacon of hope for all. Our flag is I'm sure it's both hot and frosty weather, and our flag has survived. Maybe a little tattered and torn, but still stands tall. May we never forget the sacrifice of those who built and fought for America. We are not a perfect people, but in America, we strive, struggle, and care about our neighbors. And those you never met, we care about our past, present, and imagine our future where we are all free. Happy Fourth of July, Pam and Steph. Thanks for another great video building across this community and sharing love across this world over. Thank you so much for your lovely comment. <laughs> MSW for change. Congratulations, you have won Kringle's Cocoa Bar. All right, let's reset and pick the last winner. All righty, last giveaway, people. Uh, so, the last keyword we asked you to use was the word flag, F-L-A-G. And let's see how many comments use the word flag. <laughs> oh, sorry for it's blurry. 197 comments. All right, let's pick a winner. Larry Blair, 4671. Love a pattern with a flag. I could not agree more. Larry Blair, 4671. Congratulations. Already, all of our winners. There is uh, Pam's email address is listed in the description box of all of our videos. So just head on over there and send Pam. An email with your mailing address, and we will get your item in the mail to you. Thank you so much, and congratulations again to our winners, and I will send you back to regularly scheduled programming now. Bye! So, congratulations to our three winners. Yes. So, I have tagged you all in the description box below. Um, as soon as you get us your mailing information, then we will get your stuff in the mail to you. So, congratulations to all of you. Yeah, good um, chance we'll have some giveaways maybe next week. Yeah, um, we'll see how things go. We'll see how things yeah, go. I'm working the next three Saturdays and I'm going to be out of town. And yeah, so, a lot going on we'll in see. July. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we shall see. Right. But congratulations to all of you lovely winners. Yep. All um, right. We are very fortunate to have some lovely people who take advantage of our links in the description box Ish. to buy us a framing donation in $5 increments yep. if you are so inclined. Yes. And um, we have uh, five donations that we would like to publicly thank folks for. Okay. Uh, thank you, Janice. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Jana. Thank you, Pam and Bob. And an anonymous donor, thank you very much as well. Yes. And those links, like I said, are in the description box. Mm -hmm. Totally optional. No yeah. special benefits, just a way to so thank you for the indicate content. that you got something out of our little show. Yeah, exactly. Um, plans this week. Let's see. Coming up, I mean. Um, so... Um, I'm going to start uh, meeting um, my friend Tony every week mm -hmm. uh, to work on Anna Green Gables from Stitching Book Club. We're going to start that back up tomorrow. Yep. Very excited about that. Um, and uh, nope. Uh, well, this upcoming Saturday is the first Saturday Summer Stitch right. uh, on the 13th. And then the second one is the 20th. So I work both um, Saturdays at the shop. Right. Um 
So I don't go to summer stage. I just work the shop. So, mm -hmm. um, but other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, a week from tomorrow, the fifteenth uh, of July, I will be starting the sale that I am hosting, which is the Nutcracker Ooh, sale. Oh, it's exciting! Our friends Twin Peak Primitives, yes. and um, if you would like to join that. Uh, the online shop at Keepsakes mm -hmm. will reopen also tomorrow after yep. their vacay. So you it can... might be Tuesday because we have to still count inventory, but yeah. it'll be open this week. It'll be open this week if you would yeah. like to um, order those. The um, start and end dates of that sale, like all the sales I host, are totally open. Uh, right. Join... Well, except the start date is July fifteenth. Yeah, but I mean, if you've already started because it's Christmas in July, oh, okay. that's, got it, got it, got it. that's cool too. Okay. Um, and cool. we'll put the hashtag, I think it's TPP Nutcracker Sale. Okay. Um, and tag me because we all know hashtags are faulty at best. So I would like to see um, what you're doing with your Nutcracker. Okay. And that's it. Oh, uh, I got I don't know of anything else okay. that is going on. All right. Well, there you go. So, um, cool, cool, cool. have a good week. Go check out our uh, Silver and Golds yes. for this week. Grab the um, American History pattern from the Twins mm -hmm. uh, because that's a deep discount off of that huge chart. Mm -hmm. And, Yeah. That's going to do it. Okay. Great. All right. So. Um, Have a great week. Stay cool out there. Yeah. I don't know of any place that it's abnormally cold. <laughs> Unless you're are, in the Southern Hemisphere, of course. Yeah. Um, but it's abnormally warm just about everywhere else. Yes, So um, take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Yeah. And we'll see you next week. We will. In the meantime, I'm Pam. I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, just Keep, keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.